Hey everybody, you're watching Michigan Farmer 421. I'm Clyde, and today we are going to be replacing a starter on our New Holland LS160 skid loader. Now this skid loader has been actually pretty reliable throughout the years. Um, it is more reliable than this one as of right now. Uh, it has about 9,800 hours on it, I believe. Someone's gonna correct me. Um, but the starter went out, which is perfectly, it's okay, it's common. Um, it's not catastrophic, it's easy to replace. Um, I just replaced the starter on this skid loader about two months ago. And now it's time to do the one on this one. So, we got just a brand new starter from CarQuest here. Uh, it should be the same, if I'm double checking right. Just got our one terminal here that we just gotta bolt everything up to. And the old starter is in here. We just got a top bolt way above my fingernail and then a bottom bolt, which is down in there. We gotta just remove those two bolts, disconnect all the wires, and we should be good. But first things first, we need to disconnect our positive, and that is, I believe, a 916th. So we'll open up the socket set and uh, get our 916th socket. Here we go. Make sure that your ratchet doesn't come close contact with any metal while on the positive terminal. You will get sparks, and in some cases, drain your battery. All right. Pull it off, tuck it down in there, save it for later. Okay, now we gotta take off uh, let's see, I don't know if we have to take off that one first or the other one. We have to take off our bolts on top of the starter and below the starter. And I believe those are 5 8 or whatever size is after that. Okay, we got the new starter out. Just the top bolt and the bottom bolt. You gotta take these wires off. Uh, this is just a spade connector and then these go onto the bolts along with the positive terminal off the battery. Okay. Well, I figured out why I probably broke. Not supposed to be like that. I think we have a cracked casing and a rock or something got in there. And uh, she's pretty much toast. So we got a new one here. I get it out of the box. Set this down like so. Exactly the same. Uh, if not really close. Um, so. These wiring is exactly the same, of course, and then this one actually will rotate. Rotate. This one, it, it, it's actually, hold on, I can spin it this way. It, 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 that don't rotate. So, I know everything I think is rotating in this one, so. Yep, so, like, well, this is all dry cracked, so I could take this off and show you what's under here. It's just, just a bolt to supply power to the motor or itself. Same exact deal on this one. This one is 100% brand new. Probably made in China. But, so, exact same process to put it back in. I might have to lift the seat up to help get it in position. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to do the exact same thing I did in reverse and go from there so here we go all right I got our all our wires connected back up both bolts are in connected the battery it's like four bolts to two for the starter to mount to the fly house or the bell housing one bolt to mount all the hot wires to there's a wire that slides on a spade you slide that on and then you put your not battery terminal on the thing. Now the moment of truth to see if it'll start.
Okay, now that we know the starter works, we need to take care of all of our tools and put our covers back on our skid loader. So here are a couple reasons why the starter might have failed and had that hole in the side. So every time it cranks over there's that force and torque that is it going against those two bolts. And after doing thousands of starts per year, right? And um, doing that, it would when it cold when it's really cold out, that metal's cold, but with that stress it could cause it to crack. So when it cracks, Something could have got in the gears, locked it up, and burnt up the motor. So, that's kind of just why. That's my theory on how that hole actually got there. Um, on the other starters I've replaced, there hasn't been any holes. Um, so, yeah. So, this thing now is back in operation. It was only down for four days uh, due to the older dirt and alternator and not a starter. So, I had to wait another day. But, that's not that big of an issue. Um, now so i know i've been missing some saturdays for youtube content i just had my graduation party this past weekend father's day weekend and it has been full tilt no stop so i had a project i needed to get done today i thought i'd record it um and then next saturday which we're going to be in july Oh, it must be 4th of July weekend. No, 4th of July week is this next weekend. No. No, 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 no. Anyway, we're going to be installing some license plate lights on the 92 Fummins. Um, I put two old ones in and they didn't work, so I got aftermarket now. Two old ones being original style, so I got aftermarket now. We're going to put those in and see if they work. But, all in all, I still got work to do, so thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you're new here, and we will see you in the next one. Peace.